All right, this is lesson number 21. One step and one step equations and one step inequalities. All right, um, today's lesson is going to look a lot like if you've had algebra before. Today's lesson is going to look like the algebra that you've seen. Um, we're going to do a lot of those things. I've got just a couple little things I need to show you, but otherwise, if you've had algebra before, this is probably going to be review. I've got a total of one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got 12 little small examples. Um, I'm going to basically run through them and then uh, we'll go through it. Um, all right, the big word that we're going to use today is solve. Solve means this it means I get x on one side and everything else on the other side. Uh, for example, I've got two sides to this equation, and the left hand side has an x and a 2. The right hand side has a 3. Anything that's on the x side, the side over here, that's not x, like this 2 here, I need to get rid of it. And here's how you do that. Um, since the 2 and the x are added together, to undo that, I'm going to subtract. And so if I subtract 2, because you know that 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. Well, if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other side. That's the rule with equations. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. And uh, so if I subtract 2 from the left, I have to subtract 2 from the right. Well, this gives me 0, 2 minus 2. So then technically you get x plus 0. Three, and then over here, do the same thing. 3 minus 2 is going to be 1. Now, we need to know that x plus 0 is just plain old x. Now, this is our answer. The question is, is why is x equals 1 our answer? Well, it's our answer for a couple reasons. The first reason is that x is isolated. x is over here, and there's nothing else on that side. It's isolated. The other reason is 1 becomes a solution of this equation. We've done a lot of stuff with solutions, so you should be familiar with that. For example, um, if I let's see if I can squeeze this in right here, x plus two equals three. I can plug this one. We've done this a number of times. See how that comes out to be a solution? It's true. Well, that's why x is the answer. X is the answer because one makes this equation true. It's a solution of the equation. Okay, we're just going to run through a bunch of examples. Here's the second one. I've got x over here and five, negative 5. i got to get rid of the negative 5. Um, the only way to do that is to add 5 to both sides. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0, so that's gone. I'm only left with the x. 6 plus 5 is 11. And if I wanted to, you don't have to check them. 11 minus 5. 6 equals 6. It works out just fine. That's good. Moving along. This is a little different. Uh, in the previous one, we were adding and subtracting. So there's subtraction, and there is addition. And the rule of thumb is, if you're adding to get rid of it, you subtract. If you're subtracting, you get rid of it, you get rid of it by dividing. If, I'm sorry, if you're subtracting, you get rid of it by adding. In this one, if you want to get rid of that 2, that 2 is multiplied to the x, so the only way to undo it is to divide. And in this case, it doesn't become 0. It becomes 1. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so then x is just equal to 3. We've got several more. We'll practice. 2, we need to get rid of. So I have x over 2 equals 5. The x and the 2, the 2 is divided, or the x is divided by the 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, and this is over 1. I can cancel those 2's out. We've done a lot of that before. So then x is equal to 10. Just doing a lot of examples here. The next one, um, since I have negative 2 here, if I add 2, that becomes 0. That's what I want to have happen. So x is equal to 4 plus 2 is 6. Let's do the next one. 
negative 5 and x are multiplied to undo multiplication. I divide. So x is equal to negative 6 over 5. Seven is divided, I'm sorry, x is divided by negative seven. To undo that negative seven, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative seven. The negatives cancel out, the sevens cancel out. So x is equal to negative twenty-eight. Okay, this one's a little different. This has got an inequality, and inequalities are you just treat them basically the same. There is one little tweak I'll show you in a bit, but outside of that, they're all the same. So 2 plus x, you're going to subtract the 2. x then is going to be greater than 5. So don't let that freak you out. The, basically, the inequalities are just like the equalities when you're, uh, when you're solving for them. To get rid of that 8, I'm going to add 8. So x is less than 12. Remember I said there's a little tweak? Here it is. This is the new part. I'm going to divide by negative 3. That's, that's normal. But here it is. If you divide by a negative number, then you got to switch your inequality. So this is less than, it goes to greater than. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. So when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you got to switch your inequality. Let's look at this next one. I'm going to subtract 4. So x is equal to, now it looks like, uh, I got a negative there, maybe I need to switch. It's only when you multiply or divide. When you subtract, you don't do anything to it. So it still stays greater than, and a minus 10. I have to multiply by negative 2. The negative 2's cancel out, x is. Now here I multiply by negative, so I have to switch it. So it's greater than or equal to negative 10. That's it. Good luck on your homework, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.